All right, good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, another video coming at you today. I was fortunate enough to get my hands on one of these. This is the Sea Spider. Um, first off, if you're new to my channel, uh, basically what I do is I do watch show and tells. I call them show and tells because I don't really go too far as far as like, uh, I don't really like to call them a review because I'm not really getting too in depth on um, you know everything about the watch. I basically tell you a little bit about as far as what it's made of, uh, the colors, the size, and uh, the movement. Uh, that's about all I really do, but most importantly, what makes my video is different, and you can check out the other videos on my channel, please subscribe, um, is that I show you what the watch looks like on the wrist. And I find that that's very, very important when you're making a decision to, to purchase a watch. Um, again, I, I kind of say the same spiel in all my videos. Um, when I was looking to buy my first Invicta, I waited so long because I just wasn't sure what it was going to look like on my wrist, you know. Um, so basically what I tell you is I, I'm about five foot seven, five foot eight inches tall, I weigh about 165 pounds, and I have a 7 inch wrist. So a lot of watches look pretty big on me. Um, if you are not new to my channel, you know that I love the big huge Invictus. So naturally this is a little bit of a smaller watch. I, this is not something that I would normally uh, purchase, although I, I have looked into looking at the Sea Spiders. But I'm, I've gotten so desensitized since I've been buying these Invicta watches that a watch that's 50 millimeters now just seems very small to me. Uh, however, this is a beautiful watch. Um, the one we're going to be talking about today is naturally the Invicta Sea Spider. Okay, uh, this one is model number one eight two two five, I believe. Let's make sure here. Sorry, one eight two two six. It's done in a royal blue and rose tone. Um, let me go ahead and get a couple. Start off with a couple close-ups here. It is a chronograph watch. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the size. It is a 50 millimeter case, okay? It's measured at the bezel, not at the crown, okay? Um, you have a combination of a kind of a silicone rubberized, I believe it's silicone, kind of like a, well, let's see what they say here. I'm just going to read a couple things off the internet here. Uh, po looks like polyurethane rubber is what it's made of in stainless steel. This was done in a rose tone plating. Um, you have polishing on the actual fold over clasp, brushed on the actual face of the clasp, then polishing on the sides. And then you have the side caps on the polyurethane rubber links that are all done in polished rose tone. The case is also polished rose tone. This particular model comes in three different colors. You have a black and purple, a gold tone and blue, and of course uh, this one is the rose tone and blue. The gold tone would be a yellow tone. Uh, it's got a kind of a matching same color on the face and of course a rose tone face. Um, not a heavy watch. It weighs about 10 ounces. I'd say, I would say it's less than 10 ounces. Um, that's what I'm reading off one of the sites out here. Um, as far as the case thickness, you're looking at 12 and a half millimeters in case thickness and uh, eight and seven eight and seven eighths in uh, bracelet length and 27 millimeters in bracelet width. Okay, so I'll give you um, a little bit of uh, information as far as whether this watch will fit if you have a very large wrist. Um, sometimes I mention that in my videos. One guy commented the other day that I, that he that would be useful information. I'll make sure I say it every single time. Now, uh, what else about this watch? It's actually it says here the movement is Swiss Parts ISA 8172-220 quartz chronograph movement, so it's not automatic, it is a quartz movement. Uh, probably a few Swiss Parts in there, I guess. Uh, this one's not labeled Swiss made, it's one of their more inexpensive models. I think you can pick this watch up for probably about the $100 to $150 price point. Um, the Sea Spiders are actually a pretty cool watch if you like that rubberized tone. And I'm really glad that he got this watch and I was able to... Um, you know, put a video up because, like I said, it's not something that I would necessarily buy uh, because I am so desensitized with these watches. Um, but it is a really nice looking watch. And I'll show you the other one he picked up, which actually I did a, a video review on this one uh, a couple weeks ago. There's another one. That's a, I believe that's the uh, Pro Diver. And he loves the rose tone and blue, so naturally this was a nice, uh, a nice second purchase for him. And the price point was right on this one here. Let me go ahead and put this one down here. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see, not too much else to tell about it. Uh, it is water resistant to 330 feet. And it looks like the movement comes out of Thailand. So this is going to be something you could probably get into. I said 150 I bet you could probably get into this for $86. I've seen them. Um, you know, if you go to my website, Fat Cat Watches, that's P-H-A-T-K-A-T-W-A-T-C-H-E-S, um, check out those links on there. Whenever I post the video, I go ahead and put more information about the watch and pictures on that website. And then there's all kinds of reputable links on there that you can make a purchase on these and get the best deal. Um, so definitely check it out. Check out the links and buy some of these because you will not be disappointed with the quality of Invicta. Um, naturally, it's always easier for me to get really passionate about a watch that I purchase. Uh, so check out my other ones so you can get a better idea. But what I, what, you know, what I learned is that everybody likes something different. Sometimes people look at the giant, like I just picked up a... Um, 
a Sea Hunter, and it's a brand new, I call it the Sea Hunter 3, it is massive, it's 70 millimeters to the crown, it's it's a gorgeous piece, and I love it, it's one of my go-tos, but some people, even who like the bigger, like 50, 52 millimeters, it's just too big for them, uh, so everybody likes something different, and I feel really fortunate that I'm able to get my hands on some of this stuff, and really show it off, uh, so there are a couple close-up shots there of the polyurethane rubber, the clasp, the face, you know, the basics, and here's the most important part. This is why people watch my videos. This is why people continue to subscribe. We are now up to 600. When I say me, we, we and my Invictus are up to uh, about 650 subscribers, so keep them coming. I do appreciate it, and uh, I'm going to keep buying watches and uh, making these videos for you folks. So there it is on a 7-inch wrist. You can see it's still not a small watch. I mean, it's still a large watch. Anytime you get involved into a 50-millimeter watch, you're looking at a pretty big watch, and this is a pretty cool, cool color combo. I'm really starting to like the uh, the rose tone in blue. It's really unique. It's really different. And I have sized this for a guy with a larger wrist to be, so I'm kind of holding it there. If I let it kind of flop around, it's gonna do that. So I'll try to hold it there so you can see it. Let me get back a little bit there so you can kind of see, kind of better angle from a distance there. And we'll get a little close up there. You see the size there. And I wish on some of these watches that are, um, you know, my coworkers, I can go ahead and show you more side-by-sides. But, um, you know, I, I'd only get access to them when I size them because, you know, I don't want to keep borrowing them from the guy. So, uh, but I do that with mine to show you side-by-side -side comparisons. Um, I just happen to have sitting here, um, this is just another one. This is Invicta Coalition Forces. And I will show you side-by-side -side on what this looks like compared to just so you get an idea of size. You might actually have seen the Coalition and know it's a pretty big, chunky, heavy watch. So you can get an idea of the size difference here when you're looking at, uh, you know, I mean, you can see there is quite a difference in the weight. And, of course, naturally, because this is a, a full bracelet version, this one here is, uh, you know, you got the polyurethane rubber. But you can see the size. Still 50 millimeters, still a decent-sized face. So I just wanted to throw that out there since I had it sitting right here. So there it is, uh, guys. That's the, uh, again, the 18226 Invicta Sea Spider. This one here, although I, I mentioned three different colors, they make this one in many different colors. I often thought about getting the all black version because it's, I got, like, the Casio G-Shock is a great watch, but, you know, it's kind of nice that if you're going to go with an all black watch, maybe get something a little different, and this kind of gives you that, that rubberized texture like a Casio would. Um, pretty cool watch. Alright, there it is, the Invicta Sea Spider. If you have any comments or have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, go ahead and drop a comment. Send me a, a, a private message. Uh, check out uh, our Facebook page. Uh, it's FatCatWatch.com. But definitely check out the website, fatcat, uh, FatCatWatches.com. Uh, That's where you're going to find the best deals for these, these Invictas. And also know where to get them where you're not going to get ripped off. I have a few videos up. Check out my video reviews of a few sellers I've dealt with or I've had some bad luck with. And... Uh, Luckily, you're protected, but you know you can't get time back. And sometimes when you buy a watch, and you have to go send it back. I mean, by the time you wait to get it, by the time you send it back, wait for your refund, go through that whole process, you're looking at three weeks. That's disappointing when you get all all excited to finally you know drop the hammer, make a purchase on a watch, and have to wait and be disappointed, have to send it back, and then wait for your money and then buy it again. It's a real ordeal. So it's important if if you're interested in this stuff, which I know most people are, because Invicta makes an amazing product. Um, Definitely go to my website. Again, it's Fat Cat Watches. You're going to find links. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to upload all of the watches, but I'm continuing to keep putting more links on there. And uh, whenever I do a video, I tend to put a page on there. Uh, but I'm going to start doing more and more. I just have not had the time with work and everything like that. And, uh, you know, weather's getting nicer, so I'm doing yard work, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, by all means, check it out. Subscribe to the channel. And, uh, Man, I keep sharing the video. I, lo I love uh, getting the comments and talking to watches, and it's been a lot of fun for me and a lot of my viewers. So thank you. Have a good day. And, again, go pick up one of those, Invictus Sea Spider. Have a great day.